Okay, so hello, welcome back to Lightroom classes, and once again we are going to solve some MCQs on modern history. So this time we are going to solve the MCQs on reform movements in northern India. Now before we solve the MCQs, let me teach you how you can reach the MCQ section so that you can solve these MCQs by your own. So in your browser, just type lightroom.com, lightroom.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website lightroom.com. And as you can see, we have a ton of free courses for RRB, SSC, and of course MPPSC. So we click on RRB, and uh, here is the part for RRB General Awareness for NTPC and Group D. We are going to click on English Medium. Well, that's pretty obvious. And uh, here are the GK syllabus: Polity, History, Geography, Science, and Economy. So we are going to click on History. Now in the History, we have Ancient History, Medieval History, and Modern History. So we are going to click on Modern History. Okay, so these are the chapters for modern history. So we are interested in the ninth chapter. This is actually ninth chapter, but unfortunately we have mapped it as fourteenth chapter. But this is actually ninth chapter. Okay, so we just click here, and you will be directed to the MCQ section. So this is the MCQ section. Okay, so let's get started. So this chapter, this MCQ is on reform movements in northern India. Okay, so there are I think more than five MCQs. Actually, there are seven MCQs. Okay, seven MCQs, seven excellent MCQs. So let's st start solving each of them one by one. So we have the first question: Who gave the slogan "Go back to Vedas"? Okay, the first question is: Who gave the slogan "Go back to Vedas"? Okay, let me just fix this problem. Okay, so the first option is Aryavart Sadhui. The second is Swami Dayanand Saraswati. The third is Narayan Agnihotri, and the fourth is Parth Samraj. So the correct answer is option B, Swami Dayanand Saraswati. Option B, Swami Dayanand Saraswati. Okay, so let's uh, explore the second question. A famous work of Swami Dayanand Saraswati. A famous work of Swami Dayanand Saraswati. So the options are Tripathi, Jain Stam, Masdal, and Satyarth Prakash. So Satyarth Prakash by Swami Dayanand Saraswati is one of the greatest uh, literature uh, done during the modern modern. Era okay during the British time. So the correct answer is Satyarth Prakash, and this is actually very important for exams like RRP. Okay, this question may come definitely come. So to memorize this, option D Satyarth Prakash. Okay, so when then we have the third question. When was the Arya Samaj founded? So Arya Samaj was actually founded in 1875. Now I repeat this very carefully. 1875 was the date when Arya Samaj was founded. Now remember this. Remember this very well. Swami Dayanand Saraswati was the forefront leader of Arya Samaj, and he was a hardcore uh, Hinduist, Hindutva leader, and he wanted the expansion of Vedic religions all over India. So he gave uh, the slogan "Go back to Vedas." So the correct answer is uh, 1875. Okay, option B, 1875. Okay. A movement started by Arya Samaj to convert non-Hindus to Hindus. So this movement was called as the Shuddhi movement. But let's explore the options. We have Shuddhi movement, Ram Ram movement. That is option B. Then we have Hare Krishna movement and option D, Bhakti movement. So the correct answer is Shuddhi movement. Option A, Shuddhi movement. Slogan raised by Arya Samaj. So the important slogan raised by Arya Samaj under the leadership of Dayanand Saraswati was. India for Indians. Option A: India for Indians. Okay, so Deva Samaj was founded by. We have the option Narayan Guru. Now that is not true. Narayan Guru was interested in southern India. Ram Bhaktas. I don't know who that is. Trilok Tripathi. I don't know who that is. Now we have the option D: Shiv Narayan Agnihotri. Now this is the correct answer. Shiv Narayan Agnihotri. Now he also uh, compiled a lot of of teaching called as. Uh, Deva Samaj. No, we will deal with that later. Let's solve this one. Question six, option D is the correct answer. Okay, Shiv Narayan Agnihotri. The teachings of uh, Swami Agnihotri, basically the same guy, is compiled in Deva Shastra. Option C, Deva Shastra. So we have solved seven questions. So let me just click on finish to check how many of them are correct. Seven out of seven. Excellent. 